In this tutorial, we are going to learn how to search for duplicate files using Doppelganger. This is the main Doppelganger window. It's what you'll see when you first launch the application. Now there are many components to this window. Notice we've got the menu along the top and a toolbar down the left side. We have a locations to search area and a search options area. We're going to be focusing on those last two for this tutorial. Now in order to find duplicate files, Doppelganger needs some directions from you. It needs to know what folder or drive to search and what options to use when searching. To specify which folders you want to search, you select the desired folder from the Explorer list view and then you press the Add Folder button. I'll do that now to demonstrate how it's done. Let's pretend that I want to find duplicate music files on my computer. I'm a pretty organized guy, so I know that all of my music files are in my My Music folder. So I select My Music folder, and I press the Add Folder button. Notice when I do that, the path in My Music folder is added to the folders list. I can add as many folders as I need to this list by repeating the same process. With the search locations now specified, we'll move on to the search options. We can use these to define the types of files we want, what makes two files identical, as well as some rules about ignoring files with certain attributes. This is a basic demo, so we're not going to get into all of these options right now. We're only going to change the file types option. The file types option allows us to specify what types of files Doppelganger should search for. The default setting is to search for all file types. Um, but we're only interested in music files, so we're going to change that to audio files. We're now ready to run the search. To do that, we press the Start button on the toolbar. Very quickly, Doppelganger will search through my nearly 9,000 music files and locate the duplicates. There we go. On this window, we can see a summary of how many files were searched, how many duplicates were found, and the total size uh, the duplicates are taking up. If I click OK, that will close the window, and now I'm on the search results window. Here I can see the list of duplicates found, and then beneath here I can see the duplicates, I can see the details about each group of duplicates. Uh, we will discuss that in another tutorial.